Hello, wow, we made it to Friday. Welcome to Up to Speed Live. And I'm here live at Basking Ridge next to the Starbucks. So I'm totally having a coffee after this. But hey, thank you for joining me. We've got a packed rundown for you to today because we've had a very long week, lots of good stuff. Let's talk about what you may have missed. So on Monday, we caught up with Heidi Hemmer. She's our Senior Vice President of Engineering on our 5G spectrum. And she told us why we have the best team who can out execute anyone. We also spoke to engineer Mike McLaughlin on the pride he feels being a part of that great team. Tuesday, our episode was Savage. We shared a story about V-teamer Taiwan Savage, one of my mentees, who is making sure that the unhoused in his community of Dallas have access to fresh food. What a great story. And finally, yesterday, we had our latest installment of Enterate con Verizon, where it was all about the Dinero. We hope you enjoyed all those shows. It has been so busy this week, and we are not done yet. We have some exciting news when it comes to diversity, equity, and inclusion at Verizon Consumer Group. So yesterday, Yesterday, we kicked off VCG Drive, which is going to consolidate our hard work and drive even more impactful change. Ronan will tell you a little bit about it. We've been teasing big things to come, and today we're proud to announce the creation of VCG Drive. So, what is VCG Drive? Simply put, it's diversity realized through inclusion, values, and equity. And we're going to drive change and impact at VCG by pulling together the most important areas of our diversity, equity, and inclusion work under one initiative within VCG. This is big. All right, so thank you so much to Rona, Nancy Clark, Sean Lee, Manny San Pedro, and the rest of the VCG Drive working teams for driving such important changes. Really excited about this. All right, turning our attention to a news story. Remember Rye Benjamin? Well, we told you he was running the men's 400 meter hurdles. He won silver for the USA, breaking the world record in the process and making all of us proud, especially his uncle V-teamer, Alan Williams, who is on the MEC product management team for our business group. So biggest congrats go out to him and thank you for representing our country so well. And speaking of the Olympics, Verizon Business is hosting the Volunteer Olympics. So in addition to encouraging V-teamers to volunteer, we're highlighting volunteer champions and opportunities that they recommend from around the world. So here's V-teamer Ariel Kaur with some advice for our aspiring champions. Before you can compete like an Olympian, you're gonna need to do some training. Hi, I'm Ariel Kaur from the CSR team. But today I'm your coach to get you ready for the VBG Volunteering Olympics. As part of Citizen Verizon, we've set a company-wide goal to do 2.5 million volunteer hours by 2025. And this year, VBG has committed 120,000 hours to help us reach our goal. How fun is that? So the Volunteer Olympics will run through next week. They're gonna be followed by closing ceremonies and the announcement of the winning team. So good luck to all of you at VBG. On to some big business news. Verizon Business, bringing 5G business internet to five new cities. And that's gonna bring the total number of cities with a fixed wireless broadband service to 47. 5G business, business internet is an alternative to cable internet for business. It includes professional installation with no digging, plus multiple pricing and service options and unlimited data. So those five new cities gaining 5G business internet as of today are Gresham, Oregon, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Austin, Texas, Little Rock, Arkansas, and Nashville, Tennessee. Congrats to them. And would you like to know how you can talk to your friends and family about Verizon Internet? Well, check this out. This is so much fun. Our sales employees just took part in the 5G Business Internet Pitch Challenge. Yeah, a real pitch challenge where employees submitted their best pitch. We are happy to share that the winner was dun, 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 Amber Nakamura, a past up to speed guest who is based out of Aurora, Colorado. And we're going to let Amber break it down. Hey V-teamers, this is Amber with the Verizon business team in Denver, Colorado. As a business owner, working from home and doing online transactions do get difficult when your internet goes out. Here are the five reasons why you need to switch to Verizon business internet. Free Aeris router, free professional installation, up to 400 megabits per second, no deprioritization, and a 10 year price guaranteed, all bundled in one. Stuck in a contract? No problem. We will take care of your cancellation fee and your first month is on us. 
For more information, reach out to your local business specialist to get you pre-qualified for the 5G business internet footprint. Amber, that was brilliant. 5G, five great reasons. I see why you were the winner. So those are really great points that each of us can use when we're talking to our friends and family. And to continue the good news, Verizon and AWS now cover 13 of the top 20 metro areas with mobile edge computing. That means developers and businesses can now build and deploy applications at the edge of Verizon's wireless network in Chicago, Houston, and Phoenix. Verizon 5G Edge is a real-time cloud computing platform that brings AWS compute and storage services to the edge of Verizon's wireless network, minimizing that latency and network hops required to connect from an application hosted on AWS to the end user's device. All good news there. All right, so let's talk about the World of Warships charity tournament, a really cool thing happening. It's in partnership with Wargaming and Wounded Warrior Project called Verizon Warrior Series. And we have a very special star to talk about why he's involved in the project. Yeah, I think the Warrior Series is amazing because, you know, A, we're raising awareness, we're raising money, um, we're getting to change the narrative of what gaming can actually do for some folks um, and talk about the positive effects of gaming in this case. Um, I am a competitor like to the end, so like I love the competition of it. Um, so I think this, you know, I think the Warrior Series is just, it, it's a fun tournament. It's a fun time. It's, you know, it's, it's a lot of trash talking, you know, and you know, people got their swag, they got their controllers. I just think it's, a, it's, it's fun. I know so many of you out there are like, oh my God, that's Jay Ellis. Yes, it really is him. One of the stars from HBO's Insecure. I love that show. He happens to be a great guy and he hung out with our very own V-teamer and veteran Jason Hill to promote the series. So teams from across the country are going to be competing to donate a $100,000 prize pool to military charities. And again, thanks to our partnership with Wounded Warrior Project, every match will also be a donation drive to raise funds for injured veterans. The finals happen this Sunday, August 8th, from 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Eastern. They're going to be streamed exclusively on the official World of Warships Twitch channel, where Jay and Jason are going to be having a live discussion during the tournament. And don't forget that Verizon has special discounts for military and veteran families, including four, four, yeah, that's four fingers, four months of premium account status and two warships free for World of Warships. Gosh, Jay distracted me. Okay, we're so proud of the V-teamer you're about to meet. Check out this beautiful photo. It was taken by Aaron Shepard. He's a software systems engineer in Verizon's finance operations in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. So Aaron photographs special needs athletes like his son, Elijah, and then those photos are proudly displayed in the kids' school. To support other parents of student athletes with special needs, Aaron offered to photograph the Broken Arrow Special Olympic students, giving them a new platform to be seen and appreciated. Aaron volunteers about 40 hours each year to photograph and process the images for the athletes and their families and takes no money in return. All he wants is to support Elijah and others like him who deserve to be seen. So Aaron, we are so proud of the work that you do. We're so proud you're a V-teamer. Finally, if you're overseas and you've just been itching to get your hands on Verizon merch, great news. The international brand shop is now live. All employees can finally wear the Verizon check with pride. And to place your order, all you have to do is go to VZ Web, click on Work Tools, and follow the link under Brand Shop. Woof, all right, y'all. Coming up next week, you are invited to get an inside look at entrepreneurship and the ways to infuse innovation in your work streams on Thursday, August 12th at 4 p.m. Eastern. Our very own Chief Strategy Officer, Rima Qureshi, is gonna be moderating a panel discussion that includes entrepreneurship tips, ways to harness creativity daily, and plus a Q&A for you to ask all of your burning questions about innovation. And all the details are gonna be included in today's replay story. These ladies are experts in this area, so don't miss it. Coming up this Monday, get ready. Andy is back and he's gonna be live with Han. So that's a can't miss either. I am Diana Alviar. We made it through the week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Short and sweet, packed full of news. I want you to stay safe. I want you to relax. And I'm gonna let my new friend Jay send you off. So take it away, Jay. Until next time, you're up to speed.